Hello, my dear friends. Myself, Akshay P. Now, I heartily introduce my team members, Madhavi K. and Rohan UTC. Our Amatex internship project is titled as Microwave Oven Simulation. To our project, the table of contents. What is a microwave oven? Requirements. Embedded system, microcontroller and microprocessor, PIC SimLab, CLCD, matrix, keep, uh, keypad, ISR, timer, project implementation. What is a microwave oven? Microwave oven is used to heat the food using microwaves, which is of form electromagnetic waves. There are several modes in various microwave oven. We are going to implement four modes, micro mode, grill mode, convection mode, start mode. Micro mode. This mode is used to cook food in traditional way. It uses a maximum power of 900 watt. In this, the maximum time that you set for cooking is 60 minutes. Grill mode. This mode is used to cook meat and bread. It works as the micro mode, but the purpose is to cook meat and bread. User can set time as per the cooking time of the meat. Convection mode. In this mode, user can set the oven to preheat for a particular temperature and it takes 3 minutes to preheat the oven. After preheating is done, then the user can set the time as per the requirements. The requirements are Knowledge in Embedded C, MPLAB IDE, XC8 Compiler, PICS IMLAB, PIC16F877A, 16 by 4 CLCD, tactile switch, MKP, and timer 2. Embedded system. What is an embedded system? Embedded system is a combination of any hardware and software which is intended to do a specific task. A general purpose system or a GPS is used to perform a large number of tasks, whereas an embedded system ES is used to perform a specific task. The simple block diagram of an embedded system is given in this figure, consisting of the blocks, sensors, memory, CPU, hardware, and actuators. There are several types of embedded system. The various types of embedded systems are standalone system, real-time system, network system, and mobile. Standalone system. In standalone system, there comes a slave system. These systems are not intelligent even though these are embedded system. These systems cannot take any action by their own. For example, semi-automatic washing machine. And another is independent system. These systems can take any action by their own. Example, Google car. Actually, Google, Google car is a driverless car. Driverless car. car. Real-time system. These systems are time-bound system which will take action on as specified time. Failures in this system are not acceptable. The real-time systems are hard real-time, firm real-time, and soft real-time. Example, airbag system. Network system. A system which are connected to the network. For example, home security system, mobile system. The system which are movable are called as mobile system. Example, robot. The next session will be taken by my team member Rohan UTC. Thank you. Hello, my dear teammates. I will be discussing about microcontrollers, microprocessors, PIC simulation lab, and CLCD. Here, uh, first we discuss about microcontrollers. It is an integrator circuit which is capable of being programmed to perform a specified task. It has a design restrictions such as uh, memory size, input output capabilities, peripheral functions, etc. And uh, here all the components can be put a single chip like uh, timers, ports, ROM, RAM, CPU, peripherals, all can be put a single chip. And it is less flexible and it has also less design complexity. Uh, we can choose a microcontrol based on application performance, price, availability and availability of tools and special capabilities also. 
then let's discuss about microprocessors. A uh, microprocessor is a computer processor for the data uh, processing logic and control is included on a single integrated circuit or a small number of integrated circuits. The microprocessor contains the arithmetic logic and control circuitry required to perform the function of a computer a central C processing unit CPU. All the components are assembled separately and it is more flexible and design is more. This is the uh, architecture of PAC uh, simulation lab and uh, here PAC 167 uh, 167A uh, it is a uh, microprocessor uh, here is the architecture for Pixum lab and there is a microcontroller uh, PAC 16F877A and uh, CLCD SSDs and uh, ADC temperature sensors buses LCDs all these are connected to the uh, PIC, uh, PAC's uh, 16F877A microcontroller. Uh, Pixum lab is a real time emulator of development board with integrated MP LabX uh, debugger. Uh, Pixum Lab uh, supports some uh, Pixum microcontrollers and some Simba uh, microcontrollers. Pixum Lab have integration with uh, MP LabX and Arduino IDE for programming the board's microcontrollers. Uh, the Pixum uh, Lab supports several devices that can be connected to the board for simulation. As for example, LEDs and push buttons for simple output and inputs and some more complex ones like the Internet Shield W5500 for internet connection or the color graphic display uh, ELE uh, 9340 with uh, touch screen. Next, let's discuss Next, let's discuss about uh, sourcing circuits. Uh, sync and source logic circuits are commonly associated with PLCs input output signals and they only apply to DC circuits and they differ by the type of component used and define the current flow. The syncing and sourcing are terms used to define the control of in, uh, direct uh, current flow in a low. A thinking low, uh, digital input output uh, provides a grounded connection to the load, whereas a sourcing and uh, digital input output provides a voltage source to the load. Here you can see in this diagram. Next is CLCD. And CLCD is a character liquid crystal display. In, uh, in Pixum uh, lab, uh, there are two types of display. Uh, one is uh, 16 into 2 display and another is 16 into 4 display and it displays the ASCII characters and some special characters. It is mostly commonly used to use display and there are two type of communication modes that you use to use. One is 4 bit mode and one is 8 bit mode. Next the MKP section will be taken by my teammate Maya. Next we will be discussing about MKP, timers, interrupts and ISR. What is MKP? MKP is the matrix keypad. This is a keypad in which number of tactile switches are connected in row and column concept. This is used when more number of user inputs are required and still want to save some controller input output lines that is IO lines. These keypads are most commonly used in telephones, calculator, digital lockers and many more. This is the block diagram for 4x4 matrix keypad. Next, interrupts. What is an interrupt? An interrupt is a communication process set up in a microprocessor or a microcontroller in which an internal and external device requests the MPU or MCU to stop the processing. Then that MCU or MPU acknowledges the request and attends the request. Then it goes back to the processing where it got interrupted. Polling. What is polling? It is the process where the computer or controlling device waits for an external device to check the readiness or state often with low level hardware. What are the disadvantages of polling? Loss of event may occur during polling, poor response, less power management. Classification of interrupts. Interrupt is classified into two types. Hardware and software interrupt. Hardware interrupt is further divided into two types. Maskable and non-maskable interrupt. Next ISR. What is an ISR? ISR stands for interrupt service routine. An ISR is a software routine that 
hardware invokes in response to an interrupt and ISR attends the request of an interrupting source by clearing the interrupt flag and should save register content that may be affected by the code in the ISR. It must be terminated with the instruction RETIE. When an interrupt occurs, the MPU completes the instruction being executed, then it disables global interrupt enable, places the address from the program counter on the stack, written from the interrupt. Next timers. What is timers? Timer is an important application in any embedded system, which is a default peripheral, which maintains the timing of an operation in sync with the system clock or an external clock. It has many applications such as measuring time and generating delay, etc. Timer or counter is a software designed to count the time intervals between the events. Resolution, which is also called register width, it may be 8 or 16 bit, etc. Tick is refers as change from one number to another number. It may be up count or down count. Quantum which depends on the system clock setting, is a measure of time which is irresponsible for the tick. Scaling may be prescalar or postscalar. It may be 1 is to 1, 1 is to 8 or anything else. Modes of timer are counter, PWM or pulse generator etc. Let's get into the project demo. File exploded and it shows four different modes of cooking that is micro mode, grill mode, convection mode and start mode. When I click one to select micro mode, it displays in screen user to select time for cooking. When I click enter, that is hash, the cooler starts to run. After completing the time, cooler will be turned off and the buzzer will be turned on to indicate us the time is cooking time is up. Let's see how it works. When I click 1 for micro mode, it shows power. Maximum power it consumes is 900 watt. It asks me to enter the time. Let me enter 5 seconds for our convenient and select hash for entering. The cooler starts running when it finish, buzzer turns on. I guess you heard that buzzer sound. Let me click 2 that is second cooking mode, grill mode. It works as micro mode, but its purpose is to cook, like making bread. Let me click 2. It asks me to enter the time. Let me enter 5 for our convenient. Let's enter hash. This time started and the cooler also started. Buzzer will be turned on when the cooler stops. Next is convection mode. When I click 3, it, that is convection mode, it asks user to enter temperature for which the oven should be preheated. Let me click 3. It asks us to enter the temperature. Let me enter 123 degrees Celsius and enter that is hash the time started with 180 second that is preheating the buzzer will be turned on to indicate the time is up meanwhile i'll explain this We are using 15 cross 4. 
these are the interrupts which are connected in rows and column that is matrix keypad this is the microcontroller and in this case we will see how the starter works When I click stop, let's see how it works. This is the RB3 use to open the door. Buzzer will turn on when the door is open. Let me show how it works. Preheating is gonna end. LCD is displayed and asking to enter the time. Let me enter the 20 second to show how other works. Other but you can increase the time by pressing 4. You can pause by pressing 5. When I press 5, the cooler stops working. When I press 4, it gets resumed. And it will resume from where it, it got stopped. I can stop it by pressing 6.
the lcd displays the door is open I hope you have heard that buzzer sound. You can use the fourth option, start mode, to heat any food, any simple food. When I click four, it automatically starts with thirty seconds. You can increase the time by again clicking four. When I click four, it started with thirty second. You can increase the time by clicking four. The time got increased. When I click five, it got paused. When I click four, it got resumed. when i click 4 it doesn't increment it does not increment when the time is up the cooler will be stopped and buzzer will be turned on to indicate time is up this is all about this is all about micro oven simulation Emotex internship was very useful and knowledgeable one. It helped us to develop our skills on this particular field. We got to learn many new things, and the attractive part is that in this internship we get to do hands-on guided project. I suggest you to take this golden opportunity and do this internship. This is K Madhvi, team members Rohan UTC, Akshay P. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.